Why cheek? Why cheek? It's a chick. Chick. <laughs> hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm coming to you with another baby shower bag drop and this one is very cute. Here's a one problem. For, for a good portion of this video I've been saying cheek instead of chick. Don't ask. Enjoy this cheek slash chick backdrop. Let's go. For your eggshell, you would need some white poster boards. And I have four of them laying on the floor right now. I wanted to see how big of a shell I need for my backdrop. So I need to still tape these poster boards together. And then I'll pick my big poster board uh, up and see if I want or need to tape more poster boards to make my shell larger and bigger so it would fit the size of my backdrop. Uh, let me tape it really quick and I'll be back with the next step. My poster boards are ready and they are taped together. The next step is uh, to trace our eggshell and uh, to give you a good idea I went online and I looked for a broken shell or you can use your imagination whatever is easier for you just to give you a quick idea I want to shape out like a broken shell on my poster boards and I will cut that out and we'll get to the next step now I have another set of uh, four poster boards taped together I pre pinned my eggshell on a big backdrop now i'm going to trace a little cheeky out of this and i want to pick it up this four poster boards right now and see and measure out how big i want my chicken to be here you guys i kind of measured how big i want my chick to be. Now I want to trace my chick and I will show you what's going on next. My cutout is ready. Okay you guys so here I have my yellow tissue paper. I also have my round uh, puncher. I bought this on Amazon. I will try to find the link and I will uh, link it in the description down below if you are interested. I can't remember how big this is. I will link, yes, the size and the link in the description down below. So all I'm going to do is punch out a whole bunch of circles and uh, decorate our cheek. Guys, when I was uh, cutting uh, my circles, my uh, circle puncher broke. I have no idea what happened, so I ended up uh, cutting everything by hand. I'm not sure how many sheets of yellow uh, tissue paper I used. I'll tell you uh, this at the end of this video. But right now, as you can see, I started... Um, gluing all these circles on my little cheek. So what am I doing? I'm taking uh, one circle and pushing this circle just like that and then putting some hot glue at the very bottom and pretty closely to the edge gluing my circles on to give my cheek a yellow color. My chick is taking way too long to glue all of those uh, little yellow circles on 
and I needed to step away from it and do something else. I want to show you how I made uh, this nose. For my nose, I'm taking all of those scraps that I have when I cut out my uh, chick out of poster boards. What I need to do is uh, draw a triangle. Next thing is I need to draw little borders uh, for my triangles. Okay, one triangle is down. Now I need to cut this out and trace two more triangles. Now what I need to do is to make little cuts. I'm cutting just a tiny bit at about like one centi centimeter or so. Now you need to fold your borders. So follow your lines and just fold them. Now I need to glue my nose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take hot glue and put some hot glue on my borders and glue all of the three triangles together to make this nose. scraps that we had uh, from when we uh, cut out uh, our cheek and I cut out two eyes. So what I'm doing now is I'm gluing these eyes together. As you can see, I still have uh, some uh, work to do with my tissue paper, but this is a good time to stop where I'm doing right now and glue my eyes and my nose in place and After I do that with my hot glue, I'll be finishing up with my yellow tissue paper guys I am finally done with my chick so now I will be pinning my chick to my fabric with these uh, pins with pearls on top like I usually do here you guys I want to show you what else you can do with your chick just add a little blue bow if it's a boy or you can add a pink bow if it's a girl. Let me show you how I attach uh, the bow. Tie and a bow to my chick. I just uh, took my bow tie and I attached that pin with the pearl on top. Just went through my ribbon. And I uh, found a spot where I want to place my bow tie or a bow. Uh, grab a few uh, layers of my tissue paper and pierce it through with my pin and a bow tie and a bow, anything that you want to attach to your chick will stay very nice and secure. This is my finished backdrop for you and I added uh, these of baby boxes on the side and I like how they look with my chick and this baby shower uh, theme backdrop it, they fit perfectly i will link a video diy for these boxes in my description down below so check it out if you're interested for my chick i used 100 pieces of tissue paper and i think it's enough it's really densely packed and i like it my chick is attached on three pins with pearls on top Feel free to add more pins. I think three is enough and we'll see. I might play with uh, some lights in the back. If I do, I will post a picture at the end of this video. All right, 
Alrighty guys, so this is my take on this chick, chick baby shower backdrop. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you have any questions, don't forget to comment down below. If you're here for the first time, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more adorable backdrops and other DIYs. Alrighty guys, I will see you back very soon. Bye-bye.